Hi, my name is Pat Miller, and I am assistant director here at Pickens Technical College, and I have the pleasure of being the administrative support for the collision repair, collision refinishing program. And I'm here today with Kevin, who is part of the refinishing program this year. Yeah. Hi, welcome. Hi, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Kevin, 18 years old. It's my first year here, the refinishing program. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you a post-secondary student or high school student? Uh, I'm a post-secondary student, yeah. Okay. I finished high school this year, actually. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how did you find your way to Pickens? Well, I think like many people, I was lost. I didn't know what to do after high school. So I kind of just researched a little bit and then kind of found my way here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how has your experience been in this refinishing program? Mm, it's been pretty good so far. I've liked it. You know, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I've learned a lot of new stuff. Uh, it's a little competitive, but you kind of get used to it. And okay. So tell me what you're working on right now in your program. Well, right now I'm working on a three-dimensional panel or like a fender on a car. Uh, I'm working on sanding it down and then we're going to apply with primer to get it ready to put some paint on it yeah okay so it's a little bit of artistry a lot of a lot of information lot of, about paints a lot of yeah a lot of painting a lot of just making sure everything's perfect everything's perfect perfection yeah okay so tell me on a what's a day to day like in this program well when you come in we normally have something we call bad words which is okay. like vocabulary you could say some like key words we have to understand in order to like show that we we are educated in the field right and then after that uh if we have a little if we have icar which is like a program to get us even more prepared mm -hmm. we do that go over it write over write some notes and then we have shop time which is when we do our projects and stuff like that okay um, tell me about the role of being a shop manager. Oof. <laughs> oh, a shop manager just basically means you run, you run the place. You okay. make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. You're making sure everything's nice and clean, making sure the shop is in order. Yeah. Okay. okay. Normally this is traditionally a male dominated field, but it seems like you've got quite a few women in your program. Yeah. How's that going? Well, it's a pretty good change. I mean, it's it? it's kind of cool to see females that are actually interested in the field too, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I and mean, they're pretty talented too, so uh -huh. it's it's kind of cool to learn from them and see what they're working on too. Awesome. And tell me a little bit about your teacher, Chris Underwood. Uh, he's a good he's a good instructor. You know, he's a little hard sometimes, but he's a pretty good teacher. You know, he help he helps you learn, even if it's like tough criticism. Mm -hmm. But it helps you. Uh, he's just hope he's just wishing the best for you, getting you prepared. So yeah, mm -hmm. I like Chris. So what's your plans? Well, uh, if I'm being honest, I'm I still don't know. Okay. <laughs> but hopefully, one day I can open up my own shop. Okay. And have like mechanics, uh, non-structural refinishing. I have, hopefully, I can have everything on there, and hopefully have a successful shop. Yeah. Sure. Okay, that sounds like a great plan. Okay, uh, are you going to come back next year and do the structural part? Uh, or? I'm still thinking about it. Okay. But as of right now, I'm most likely going to come back. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tell me one thing that kind of surprised you about this program that you weren't expecting. Mm -hmm. I think, if I'm being honest, what surprised me most was uh, the process. Just because I thought there'd be more steps to like the process of actually like getting ready to paint a car, mm -hmm. but it's pretty straightforward. And yeah, you just gotta be gentle with what you're doing, being careful, and being keen to detail. Keen and, to detail, and you'll be pretty good at this. Yeah. Are you part of the Skills USA? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I think if I'm. 100% right. I think Skills USA only applies to like people that were here last year. No, it applies for people who are. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, if I can, then I'm going to try to compete in that. Yeah. I want to see where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. it's a good competition. Um, so, do you have any advice for 
middle school kids or high school kids or adults looking at this to, and about getting into the refinishing program? Uh, any advice? I guess <clears throat> if you want to get in the program, you're going to have to have a lot of patience okay. because you're going to, there's going to be times where you mess up on a panel and it may not be completely your fault, but you still got to redo it. Uh, just having a lot of patience and having a good eye for detail too, okay. because there, there may be like little spots you miss and you just got to make sure you're hitting that and being ready to fix anything that you mess up on. Great advice. What about your impression of Pickens overall as a college? Well, I think, I think Pickens is a great school. Yeah. Uh, it's, it was pretty welcoming on the first day, you know, I, I never experienced a DJ in the first day of school. <laughs> DJ? It was pretty cool. It was pretty new. Uh, well, yeah, Pickens is pretty welcoming. Uh, everything from, like, staff to instructors, yeah, I think it's a pretty good school, yeah. Great. Thank you. So I noticed your teacher calls everyone technicians. Um, how does that support um, the camaraderie in this program? Well, to me, it just shows that everybody's equal. Okay. You know, everybody has the same amount of opportunity as, as uh, whoever's sitting next to you. Uh, everybody shares the same experiences, the same tools. It's just, it's just up to you whether you improve or not. But as the camaraderie, for camaraderie. So, camaraderie <laughs> uh, everybody supports each other, whether you're behind or ahead. You know, we all try to help each other as much as we can. And if we see like somebody doing something different, we I guess I would ask around, try to learn from them, and hopefully they be learn they're learning from me too. So okay, so Kevin, what's your favorite part of the shop? Uh, my favorite part would be uh, getting in the spray booth and spray. Uh, spraying is pretty fun. I like spraying. Uh, just making sure your gun's ready to go and everything. Uh, okay, it's pretty fun. Yeah. So can you explain for the people listening, um, what exactly does a refinishing technician do? Well, from my point of view, a uh, mm -hmm. refinishing technician uh, basically just uh, fixes any scratches, dents, or any misalignments that the paint might have on a car. We're basically just making sure that the car is looking the best as it can. It doesn't have to really be cars. It could really be like sculptures you know the freedom we have freedom to like do all that kind of stuff so yeah just making sure everything's looking nice and making sure it doesn't fall apart when it gets out of the shop too yeah. <laughs> okay so what careers are available for somebody who finishes this program well if when i think about it i think uh some careers available or you get to work in shops and become like master level technicians, which is basically you like focus on one type of car. So like if I were to become a master level technician, I'd only paint and refinish like four trucks or cars only. Well, uh, I think that's pretty much the career. What a privilege it is. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Kevin, for being with us today and explaining to us about uh, your experience in the refinishing program. Do you have any final thoughts for people listening to this? Just uh, if you're getting into the program, uh, be confident, uh, have a lot of patience, uh, and go for it because the program is pretty fun and doesn't really last that long. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you.